Welcome back to Spicy Tech. I am Mark. I'm Cry. And today we have a special episode. We will be comparing the old, the now old V11 versus V12. We have with us today my parents, my mom and dad. They're in the uh, back seats. Hi. Hello. Hi. And then <laughs> we'll be getting their uh, their first impressions and uh, comparing directly the uh, the versions v11 versus v12 so that way we can see if there's any noticeable differences and that way you folks the viewing audience could also get an idea as to how it performs so we're going to a nearby uh, cineplex there's going to be a zigzagging in the road stop signs some intersections you'll get a good idea as to how v11 runs so let's go with v11 oh we still have the indicator on that's fine hopefully it takes it off you have to make a right anyways. Oh, we are, okay. Hmm. Okay. I had a little bit of heavy braking there mm -hmm. uh, because I guess it kind of slightly overreacted for the car making the left turn. Okay, this was smooth. Pretty good avoidance. It's gonna bump up the speed to 45. You have someone making a left turn. Uh, were they yeah. supposed to do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why uh, she stopped there. And then some slight braking here too as well. There's a lot happening right now with pedestrians jaywalking. There's somebody crossing the road. Oh, and we're actually going in here. So pretty good so Not far. Bad. Any um any comments so far? No. So all this has been driven by itself, by itself right? so far. Because they chose this route instead of... Well, we, we had to uh, specify the route that we wanted to take, right? Okay. We wanted to get in the zigzag tests and left turns. In the, uh... I find the turns are pretty smooth. Right. So natural? Yes. Okay. That's good. Oh, this is a hard stop. Yeah, not a natural stop there, but... It's kind of creeping up for visibility and truck right on here avoids that truck it's kind of nagging you a lot is that new uh that i mean that's always been the case with uh with v11 and i'm hoping with v12 we have a, a great reduction in that that nagging especially but, if you're experienced right yes so the nagging it's talking about is it shows up on the screen mm -hmm. and you have to press uh you have to apply tension mm -hmm. to the wheel so it knows that you're you're looking ahead and paying attention so it happens quite frequently, especially if you turn your head and look at the screen, for example, it'll start, you see, it'll start uh, that's not good. It's kind of going in the middle of the road, but then it starts. Uh, but th that person actually has right away. They do, yeah. Mm -hmm. But we had enough room. Uh, they were kind of close. What do you folks think about that? Should it have waited? I was a little kind of concerned there and I saw it because I saw the car coming and I saw the cars on the right, but it handled it well, I think. Okay. Yeah. I would have done the same thing, and I'd speed up and try to pull in front. <laughs> well, they're not supposed to do yeah. that. Perhaps I should have just, you know, hugged it the right side a little bit more instead of going into the what it felt like the middle the of the middle. road. Maybe he was sending a signal to the guy coming up to, you know, I got here first, so you slow down. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have uh, always stop. I'm making a left here. This person stopped before us, they stopped after us, so, so we should be going now. Yeah, let's go. We should be going now. So I have to give it some juice because she's not, the system is not, uh, um, has it done, yes, exactly. So it's very timid. I had to give it uh, some, some pedal, uh, pedal. It's going a little faster on this corner though. Around the corner. But then it's, it's lowering down the speed now. You see that? So it's adjusting the speed based on. But she looks a sense here near to her school, so mm -hmm. it should, I mean, it's a holiday, but still. That's good. It's cautious, yeah. That's what we were talking about, too, as well. How would it, you know, if, if, if it has to be fully autonomous, it has to also take into consideration timing, times, mm -hmm. time, time of the day. Time of day. You know, I don't think that's a current feature, right? No. Like, with regards to, like, car construction holiday. zones and... Uh, or even, like, uh, if it's a holiday or if it's a... Mm -hmm. So date time would be important. 
Well, mostly like if you have a, a, a section of a road that's closed from, you know, mm-hmm. 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Right. That I think is going to be, I'm not too sure they're going to execute that. Maybe a little challenge there. Yeah. I mean, it depends on how up to date it is, because I mean, it might have a local situation where it might happen, you know, this morning they decide to block off a lane and mm-hmm. the system wouldn't know on this. Some other people pass yeah. through. Yeah. yeah, it kind of is, it kind of does do that in terms of the navigation, but it takes yeah. like sometimes a couple of days so, to okay. settle in. So for a couple of days you get like stuck for then afterwards. But I think that's on Google's and not necessarily um, Tesla, right? So we have some cars. Sorry. We have some cars coming here making uh, making a right turn, and she's kind of. Oh, he has to stop because he in the middle of the lane here, though, yeah, which is not good. cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to disengage there because we're kind of, you know. Yeah, we're too much on the left. We have some pedestrians coming on the right as so well. The first disengagement there, and we kind of blocking these folks in making the, the turn. But now she makes that. So we have one disengagement just because of the positioning, the lane positioning of the car. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's gonna take us into the parking lot. Just going into the parking lot. I think it will. How about stop in front of the Cineplex? Indicating left though. It should just be straight. Yeah, it's going straight. It's going straight. But it's indicating left. Yeah. Or oh, indicator yeah. is on. Exactly. So I had to manually um, take it off. Because of the direction of the road, I suppose. Yeah, oh, she's oh. getting a little bit confused here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just to make that left turn. And where are we going exactly though? If Cineplex? You go around, if you go left or right. Uh, we have right of way because they have stuck so I have to give it some okay. jewel because she's very hesitant and you can see it trying to create a safe zone here to creep up so I'm all pressing pressing the pedal now all now we have a car right behind us too as well what's it trying to do it's trying to get into the oh you're telling it it's going to the cineplex yeah are you going to the charging station it's aggressive no just uh just cineplex oh okay so it's trying to squeeze in between really jerky very very jerky it's trying to get <laughs> We're trying to get scared. Trying to maneuver as best as it can, like cars are on either side as well. Then you can pass. So this is a little. Yeah, even if it's like I want to see where it's actually gonna go. Like, where is it gonna stop? I was waiting for this car to go. There's also a person walking in the road. Um, well. It should be able. Oh, it's already here. So this is where it's, this is where it takes us. So okay, that's so the end stopping? of the trip. Okay. So what was your feedback again? Well, yeah. In situations where there was, um, like, we only stopped and had to turn left, and it was in a, it was too close to the left lane. Um, mm-hmm. There was a little hesitancy there, and then when it was going across by the traffic light to the mall, it wasn't sure to go left or right. And then <laughs> when we reached the four, the, well, the three-way intersection, and then we had right away. It was still kind of hesitant. It wasn't sure whether it had right away. Tended to speed up a bit too much in some of the at the back roads, and right. especially on the corner. Corner. Yeah, that the wide uh, turn. Once there are a lot of uh, decisions to make, like in terms of the uh, all-way stops or by the traffic lights, uh, it was a te- uh, maybe an uh, tendency to get confused. So there was hesitancy, as was stated. Steering wheel starts to get jerky, and then it, yes. it, it, yeah, I have to intervene and press that pedal yeah, in order for it to, to go. To, yeah, to make that final decision. Welcome back again. We have a Vision 12 installed now, Vision 12.3.3 actually. And uh, just to show you that we have it installed, we're going to go to the autopilot settings. You can see here that full self driving um, is supervised now, it's no longer in data. And we're using the average uh, full self driving profile along with the automatic uh, set speed offset. So you can see here that it determines context and then adjusts speed accordingly uh, based on traffic flow and environmental conditions. All right, let's go. So V12 now you have you know, a whole different way of thinking now with its neural networks. Uh, stopping there was actually pretty smooth. Yeah, I thought it was going to be rough, but it actually did a good job. This is uh, way smoother here. I was making that right turn there, checking the curb to see if it's not going too close to the curb. Okay. No. That was a really good speed, actually. I was going up to the speed now. 
So our max is on 40, but it's going on like 43, 42. It's just auto too as well. Auto max. Auto max. So that's a new thing now. I'll go a little bit a little bit higher, but now it's going 38. It's speeding up now. Look, the intersection was cleared. Now it's slowed down again. But the slowing down and, and speeding up is really smooth. Yeah, that was definitely smooth. Uh, much smoother than before because we had a little bit of jerkiness at that intersection there. Taking its time on this right turn. But it's really smooth like this. Like, not jerky at all. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Not too sure why it, uh, it, it did that. It had some issue with the cars over there. It had the, these bars. Is it the, the main markings on the line? No, this was yellow. Hmm. It's uh, being cautious with the, the cars. Stops on the side. Like a rude hump or something? Mm, no, sure. it's just the, the cars for some reason are, are like setting it, tripping it off. It's just being cautious. We're a little too like slow right too now. too slow here, yeah. So that automatic setting. Oh, wait, it sees somebody walking on the road. And it, it really. It's pretty good. It's quickly kind of adapted close to, to that. here though. But it's not doing it in a way that's like slamming the brakes, which is like huge difference. You should be able to creep up now and check and then go. Oh, we're going left. That's good. Those are good. And you can see here now that it has a kind of a ripple effect. Yeah, I was going to say. A ripple effect on the line. There's no longer the, well, this not too sure the Chevron V before, was it? Like they had Chevrons mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that will indicate when it's slowing down. Okay. That's an, a new graphic. Oh, okay. It has a Chevron. Oh, you have to touch the wheel. So we do still have some nagging here. Not um, as much, actually. Not as much because I'm actually looking at the screen now and it's not showing up nearly as much as it does with a V11. Right. It's still going a little bit slow, right? Okay, now it's going up to <laughs> 42, 43. 44 for a second there. There's no one behind us, so I'm not too sure what prompted that uh, speed increase. Probably that in itself. So all stop here now, four way stop, narrow lane. Okay, we're making a right. Oh, she's actually going up. Oh, mm. okay. That was really good. That was really, really good. No, no hesitation. hesitation at all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no hesitancy as we noted. That was like smooth. That's definitely an improvement. And she was keeping track of whose turn it was. She was like, okay, it's my turn. I'm going to go. Pretty much. Okay. Just keeping up with the with the speed of traffic, which is yeah. She cool. went up to forty eight actually just now. Went up to fifty two. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wants to make a left turn here. Oh yeah, that's correct. That's correct. So this might be a little bit. Let's see. That person didn't stop. <laughs> they were supposed to. Oh, this is really good. Like right and on time. It goes to as well. Yeah. Is good. Yeah. Right on time. In terms of turning. A little slow. bit slow on the turn. No, but, this, no, but this one, remember, we had she went too, it went too fast around this corner. Now it's going too slow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has to stop, so it's not, it's not terrible. But it also picked up a traffic light on that turn, so I'm not too sure if it was. Yeah, it's seeing some random traffic lights on the sides here. And I saw that a couple times already. Well, let us know in the comments section what do you focus yeah, that's on so far. A little fast, though. I, I like that acceleration. Yeah. Um, you know, especially if someone is behind you and you wait a whole second as you, as you know, the law indicates, you're supposed to wait a three second seconds. or three seconds, you know, at least you're getting up to speed quickly. It is five o'clock, so I was hoping for a little bit more traffic, but I mean, you'll, you'll get our first impressions. Don't forget to like again and subscribe to see those videos coming up. Um, we did compare V11 to this software and you can also check out our previous videos too as well on how it performed. Wait, wait. <laughs> I didn't see that bird. <laughs> I mean, it was in the in the air. So it's actually seeing. It looks like it's seeing bumps in the road, and it's, and, slowing, down. And it's slowing down accordingly for it. That's that's pretty sick. That's pretty impressive. I think that's very good. Uh, and then here's kind of like jaggedy as well. Okay. I was making that left turn again. There's no one. Freak out. Okay, so here it had a little bit of hesitancy. You have a person going straight. Okay, so they have right away. We're creeping up. We should stop here. Wait for this car. 
to actually get into the that that right turn, and we're in position, we're in a good position here too as well. So that's yeah, it positioned a lot better. Than so lean, yeah, excellent, yeah, perfect. Like excellent. But you saw that the 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 bends was on our oh, our line. I'm getting confused now. Why getting confused there? because the car's taking right turn. Oh, it's making a left also, now this time. I was making a left. Oh, the last time I think it was supposed to make a left. We're going straight ahead. I and think. then it went in the wrong lane. Oh, it's supposed to go straight. 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 Well, let's see if it, it's going to correct itself. Oh, wow. oh, it thinks this is a left. Okay, so. Oh, we got it. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't great. Nope, nope. It was in the wrong lane. <laughs> it was in the wrong lane, yeah, because I'm that piece left signal and then it went straight. Yeah. That, so. that, huh, that was weird because the last time it had the left signal, but it was on the right lane. Yeah. Which is double wrong. <laughs> This time it's like slightly wrong, but it still goes straight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Nope, Don't so we can't do that, so we can't go again. <laughs> so it tried to indicate the. It, tried, it didn't it did even it indicate. Last minute. It's trying to find a spot to get in, but it, I don't know what it's doing. It's gonna go. It's gonna go here. Yeah. Okay. okay. I want to see if it's actually gonna park. <laughs> you can see the rippling effect of the line. Okay, you gotta touch the wheel a little bit. I just want to see if it's gonna park automatically. Oh, it's a little jerky. Yeah. And then I have to look and see here now because it's a blind turn. Oh, gotta watch that curb. Watch that curb. Please, please watch it. I'm good. Yeah. So. Oh, that was close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you couldn't touch it. All right. Well, I mean, coming on to the end there was a little bit rough. I mean, we are stressing it out by being in a parking lot. It was consistently a better drive. It was. Yeah. The very little Very, very smooth. So and that's good. I think it's a great improvement. Yeah, it's getting better. Getting better for sure. I was hoping that it would, you know, park up a side uh, Cineplex here and, and, you know, drop us off and park itself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Just not kidding. Today. No, not, not, not with this software. Thirteen, maybe. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> Any final thoughts, uh, Dad, Mom? Well, as I said, uh, definitely a smoother drive uh, from what we had before, but it'd be eleven. And um, I think it's a great improvement. So yeah, that's improved. Yeah, just down to the end, it was a little hesitant again. But still, that was way less jerky than it normally is on, on version yes. 11. Yeah. So I think, yeah, overall it's a much better experience. It's very smooth. Much more visualizations, it looks like, yeah. Less freaking out as well. And it has the, it doesn't have the, the new parking uh, as before. Um, but it does have, it does keep the, the automatic parking for us, which is, which is, which is all right, which is decent. Uh, is it any faster? Not really. Doesn't I think look it like it. Might be. I think it actually might be because it's usually the corrections that take long. But it it it, it feels very smooth and confident, uh, much more than before. So now we parked itself. We, no, that was way faster. Yeah, so definite improvement with auto auto park. So yeah, I mean that can really concludes our V12, uh, V11 versus V12. Thanks, mom and dad, for accompanying us You're to the drive. Welcome. Great experience. Uh, and, and providing the feedback. Um, and yeah, overall it looks like we're heading in the in the right direction. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share the video as um, if you prefer. That way you can get you can show others the direct comparison between v11 and v12 um, and uh check the link in the description for the daily lab star glow car diffuser don't forget to use the discount code spicy to save 15 percent off so if you want to check that out too as well we're going to include that link in the description below thank you and have a good day Bye. Bye. <laughs>